Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mrs. M. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't, make sure you click below to subscribe to my actual channel so you receive the latest on all the juicy cleaning business industry news. So I'm going to dive in today and talk about what is the number one big concern of cleaning business prospects. What is their big concern? So let's break it down into several categories so we can clearly understand what you need to say to your potential prospect to make sure that they feel comfortable that they believe in you and your system. You have to get them to believe in both. Normally, there's three things they have to believe in. One, they have to believe in you. They have to believe in the vehicle, your system, what you're promising to deliver. And they have to believe in themselves that it's going to work for them. Normally, if it's commercial cleaning, they feel comfortable that the right company will be able to deliver what they say. They just need to make sure that the right company is you and your system, how you're going to deliver the cleaning. So the first thing you need to do is understand what is their major concern. The majority of the customers that we've spoken to have either had one, they do not believe in paying for professional cleaning. They do not believe it's worth it, so they don't believe in the value. Number two, they don't believe that cleaning companies can deliver what they say on a continuous basis. So what normally happens is they'll hire someone, they'll come in, and after a couple of months, they start to fall off and they're back to square one again, looking for another cleaning company. Number three, they feel as if they don't trust them. They're going to be in either all of their business, they're going to try and cause problems with their employees, so they're not feeling confident that you're going to come in, do your job, and then just leave. That's not what they're feeling. So the other concern could be that they've always done it in-house. They trust who they have in-house, but either they've cut their staff or now they need more professional detailed services, and so they have to outsource. A lot of companies have received notifications of certain specifics they have to meet, when it comes to approved disinfectants and sanitations and things like that. And so they do not feel as if they are capable or their employees are capable of doing that. So with all these concerns, you can clearly understand why this would be important. It actually comes down to the way they could lose business if they do not have a professional service. So here you come saying the same promises that so many others have said. Now, when you've understood what I've talked about, this is a six figure cleaning business channel. The goal is to get you to six figures and beyond. So you cannot market, you cannot say the same things that other cleaning companies say because they're not getting to six figures. So the whole goal is to teach you what you need to do as far as marketing, how to close the sales, how to stand apart from all the other noise in the background that are saying the exact same things, but they're not scaling towards six figures because they do not have the expertise or the know-how or the determination to get there. So when you go in, you have to find out what is the big domino. That means what's the number one thing you need to knock down off their list of complaints that's gonna make all the rest of them disappear. There's normally two or three. Now, like I said, it could be that they feel like the cost is too much. That is an internal kind of feeling, like they're internally feeling like this is gonna be a little bit much. I don't think I have it in my budget. And actually what they're saying is they don't think it's worth it because trust you and me, if we've, we've been out and we've seen something that's extremely expensive, the first thing we do is we want it. So if we see a car, we'll look at how pretty it is and oh, we want to be in it and what it's going to look like, how we're going to look in the car and who we're going to attract. Then we move over to logic. Well, it's going to save me gas or it's going to be safer. So the first thing we do is we go with emotion. We look at how we're going to feel. The second thing is the logic why we need to logically convince ourselves we need to get this particular item. It could be, now, when it's something small, say it's a dress for $12.99, we can go with emotion and logic quickly. We go boom, boom, and we're there. When it's something larger, like building a relationship with someone who's coming in and servicing our facility, depending on the amount of that contract, it could be anywhere from ten dollars to $15,000 a month. Now, that may be quite a stretch for a lot of companies, but they know they need it, so they will sacrifice in order to have the services if you can convince them that your service is gonna be the best and the system you're going to use. 
Now, this is when I talk about the yes, Y-E-S, how to get your customers to go from no to yes. And that comes down to your unique earning signature system, which when I talk about your system, what are you going to use to convince them of that big domino that you can push over and all the small ones will go? Well, the number one complaint or concern that I have heard from other cleaning companies that have hired when I've interviewed them and asked them, what is their complaint? They will say having a company come in and it's not so much the price, but having them come in, being able to trust the company to do the core business that they said they were going to do on the scope of work. It's just that simple. If you say that you're going to background check your employees, they want you to consistently background check your employees. If you say that you're going to have a quality control inspection once a week, they want to know that consistently you're going to have a quality control inspection once a week. Whatever you're promising on your scope of work, when you're doing your walkthrough, that's what they want to know. Now, let's say you've got something that you say that you have to actually do, which I call your hook. You have to hook them into getting you to do the walkthrough. And that is in another, a little bit more detailed. So basically you have to have a hook in order for them to stop and listen, whether you're on the telephone, in person, mail out, or email. All four of those are the main ways that you get business to your particular company, your cleaning company. So now you have to hook them with the headline and attention grabber getter. You have a, just a couple of seconds to hook them in order for them to say, yes, come do a walkthrough. Trust and believe couple of seconds. So you have to have an extraordinary hook to hook them to grab their attention to then say, yes, come and do a walkthrough. Once you do your walkthrough, then it's something else. And the something else is that big promise, that domino effect that's going to push it over. And remember, your client is going to deal with the motion first. Uh, the money I'm going to have get to give up or are my employees at work, they're going to be safe. That's the emotional part. You have to convince them that that is going to happen. There's several ways you do that. The next thing is they're going to go in logic. The logic is the price. Is it going to be worth it? Am I going to have to, you know, go through staying late to give you guys access to the building? That's the logical part. And then the third thing could be fear. They start to fear if we have some, a company, they're going to be going through all of our stuff. So there's usually emotional, logical, and fear. You have to address all three of those normally to get that one contract and it's worth it because it then allows you to know how to close and then move on to others. So what you need to do, your actionable item is you need to make sure that you understand the difference in the emotional, the logic and the fear, and that you have to be prepared to address all three of those when you are doing your walkthrough to get that particular contract. If you're interested in this and so much more, then make sure you sign up for the masterclass, Six Figure Cleaning Business Masterclass from Scratch, live, love it, love it, love it, love teaching it, love having the enthusiasm, love the action. So make sure you subscribe below so that that way you can learn all about the hook, the bait, how to close, how to get the attention to even do the walkthrough, and how we used our escape method to make sure that we set up the systems that you're gonna hear me talk about all the time systems and processes in place so that you can scale your business to six figures. Now, no one that I know of goes into realizing the work that it takes in being able to scale your business to six figures. You have to want it, be determined, and really, really, really want to make the difference in your customers' lives as well. I don't think you can do a business and really enjoy doing it and scale it to the scale that I'm speaking of if you don't enjoy what you do. So, if this is something that you really enjoy doing and you want to do it well, then make sure you subscribe to the masterclass. Like I said, you'll learn about attention grabbers, headliners, how to do the hook, the bait, how you have to know who your who is, where they are, so on and so forth. So if this sounds like something that you're really serious about, you're ready to put the work in, I give you actionable items that you can dive into right away and I will also look at having a special bonus for anyone and everyone that stays on to the end of the masterclass. So click below, space is limited. We only have a small amount of space because we do it live and we like to do a lot of Q&A, which are questions and answers and take our time. We do not leave the webinar until the masterclass webinar until we've answered all of your questions. So click below, sign up, register, and I'll look forward to seeing you then. Until 
Take care and be safe. Bye-bye.